Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Impossible Creatures replay channel. Uh, here we are with a with a dead cast for um, for a three three game in the three v three league. I'm here with Pugman. Hello. And uh, we are going to be casting Macro and Cheese versus Who Are They? Yes, and, very uh, exciting. A, a long-awaited series of casts, I'm sure. Yes, absolutely. It would be good to have some content on the channel. Uh, it's been a while. But, uh, <laughs> yes, apologies. Know, apologies to everyone for that. Uh, I did actually promise uh, Weenie Hut that I would cast these games like two weeks ago, but then I caught coronavirus. <laughs> So very unfortunate timing, but that is know, very unfortunate timing. We're back today, um, we're and back. I, I think we're going to start off with Bakuna Beach. Now, let's chat a little bit about the teams before we start, just so we have the names fresh in our minds. Right. So, um, Magro and Cheese is a team with B Champ, uh, Ryan, and Fear. Um, so they've they've been in the league since the start. In fact, they're they're Team A originally the um, alpha squad yes exactly well you know that's tournament organizer privilege there <laughs> I uh, suppose getting so. getting team a <laughs> um <laughs> and then uh who are they joined more recently um with uh gray guy and greenie hut and third player who had momentary lush there we go lush thinking blue because he plays in blue usually but um yeah, so uh, they 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 joined recently. Gray and Lush, uh, who I believe are brothers. Oh, that's cool. Uh, jo yeah, joined uh, joined the server relatively recently and got involved and uh, wanted to participate in the league. So they've joined. They've played a few games. You've seen them before. Um, no and here we are on Bakuna. So. Uh, is, uh, a word of warning just going into the replay we have had reports that this replay is a little bit scuffed so i'm not sure if this recording will even see the light of day but hopefully there'll be some uh, some fun content in here nevertheless yes we're we're uh we're gonna be wary of, of extra creatures appearing um but in the meantime we can see that uh weenie hut in the pink uh on together with lush and Grey Guy on the right hand side. Yes, Grey Guy sporting the... red, confusingly, because uh, fear is black. <laughs> yes. I believe Grey Guy actually prefers to play in red, which is mildly confusing, but we'll, we'll let it go. Um, and B Champ in the green, and Ryan, you lack mac and cheese in the cyan. Best Love the themed game. names. That's lots of fun. Um, B Champ, yes. early expansion. Yes, Beachamp is expanding early and is building Ryan's lightning rods at his expo. That's cool. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, building well, Fierce rod as well. So this is clearly a pre, uh, a pre-considered pre strat. strategy. Yes. yes, that is one of the hallmarks <laughs> of Macro and Cheese. They actually think about strategy. And <laughs> Games. <laughs> yeah, um, they they do put they do put work in before the games and in some fun which is, schemes. Which is, Yes, more than we can say about some teams, that's for sure. Uh, and we have Weenie Hut heading towards mid. I wonder if he's going for mid mid. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh, there are a lot of mid geysers here and like routes to various places. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is some sort of proxy chamber play. This is a very large yeah, map. There's it's, a lot of, uh, it's a lot, a lot of, of resources. Kind of Three, three yes, is quite that. a lot to send at this stage in the game. Um, they're kind of just hanging out. Yes, there you go. There's the proxy there's, chamber. There's the sneaky chamber. And I'm yeah, the, there's Ooh. more going down, and those are from Grey. Those are from Grey. Beautiful. All right. Yes. We've, we've got a very a very front-loaded attack force here. Uh, and yes, a little and bit... this, is, this is really good, actually, for um, for Team Who Are They, because they've just happened to, to land right in front of the the expo that's containing <laughs> the lightning rods for fear and ryan and that's that. right and B champ is able to reinforce with all these resources do you so think i mean I b champ must little have little. seen it somehow i'm not sure how but he must have spotted yeah. it to get these two sound beams up unless it's just he coincidence definitely spotted it uh no there's no way he built sound beams without spotting them correct yeah. um but i i don't know how he managed to spot them uh, mm -hmm. maybe, suspicious we don't have fog of war so uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and that's a pretty good play from uh, Weenie Hut. Just going round. Don't attempt to take on the sound beams. There's no point to yes. that. Go for the mining line. Going for the rods. So, oh, but it's not enough. He doesn't have enough mass to take these rods out. No, he doesn't. Great you play really from Beachamp. Uh, you really need to hit 
you need to hit isolated targets with uh, with these cheetah scorps. So oh, I think those are cheetah scorps. We are seeing an all in here. The henchmen are coming yes. out as well. Oh, this is going to do damage. The is actually doing a huge amount of work for for this, but uh, not sure that it's going to work out well enough because we have fear over here with hyenials. Fear is over so here with hyenials, but he's being suppressed pretty well. That's true. I mean, the pan the panthamings are going to help a lot, and the sound beam is just going to get keep his uh going to keep his chamber safe um and I, I oh you're yeah. kidding oh what a fight that was that was oh, some, oh, some... Oh, oh you can win this come on no no oh. way man no way we need one wow. more scorpion lion and oh actually and... this this expo up here has been taken out as well this is a really good attack from weenie hunt yeah yeah weenie has done a really good job of sort of splitting focus and finding weak spots b so fully is... retreating away from his sound beams that's interesting this yeah, is kind of like the should... safest place for him at the moment, but he's got to pull back and defend because yeah, he's got to defend are... his lab. I'm not. Sh I don't know whether he hit level three. Someone did, but I don't know whether it was B Champ. Apologies. So it's he... probably more likely to be Ryan because Ryan's been unperturbed so yes. far. Yes. Uh, he's got some flyers and some camouflaged camels. Yeah, so here I, we I have we have the dragon orpians flying in. Yes, uh, and, and they I, will be able to defend, but it's going to be a little bit close for B. It's going to be close. This is a lot of barrier destroyed. Oh, that's gorgeous! Wow, I really like uh, to see come, this. Here comes this the hedge punch. I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't look. The hedge oh, are repairing. Here comes the, here comes the repairs. Oh, that's that's going to be good enough. Oh my are goodness! Those, are those pistol shrimps? There are pistol shrimps here. They're from Ryan. Yeah. Pistol shrimp gazelles. Wow. Oh my that goodness. That is not something I expected to see today. My goodness. <laughs> They're quite cute. They're quite cute. They would have been really good yeah. against uh, Dragon Orpians, which is kind of maybe why Ryan added yes, Dragon Orpians to his army, true. then he was like, oh, well, shoot, how am I going to defend against Dragon Orpians? Yeah, uh, I... Beecham's somehow holding that. That was so clutch. <laughs> yes, I think, yeah, Ryan, Ryan coming in with the perfect timing, and Beecham's underrated, saving his henchmen in the water uh, to true. bring them back. As Ryan's uh, attack was coming in, really made the difference there. So Very now we're going to see these proxy chambers go down, and Grey Guy's attack in the north has to be successful. <laughs> oh, interesting. Point, it turns uh, someone someone coming forward with a very serious allegation. B Champ is mm. not real. This from B Champ's team member. You've got to believe it. Coming for someone yeah. who fights with B Champ. So, so 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 we have to wonder, what is the hologram of B Champ, and why? You know, maybe that's why they weren't able to kill him. You know, yeah, it's that's, actually a hologram. That's a great it's not point. Real. Yeah, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Ryan's Walker Stridge is fending off a pretty good attack up north. Yeah. Uh, and Fear yeah, is here. I think that was here. level 2 versus level 3, so that was yes. never going to go well for Grey Guy. Certainly, certainly. Uh, Fear is here on mass. Fear doing what he does best and just, like, massing range. Yes. Um, gorgeous. And Coming I mean, in behind just... to build the Jenny. That's lovely. Yeah, that is, that is, that is Fear. Fear is. Fear and I have a similar playstyle where if you just we we just we just want to get our economy up and sort of build up a huge mass before before really pushing on doing stuff. Uh, it's it's such a hard fear, strategy. I, think, to stop. I expect Fear will take every uncontested geyser there is on this map. Yeah, he's doing it. <laughs> he's definitely doing it. Um, some which, wayward, which some is, wayward henchmen taking that out as so well. much. That is definitely uh, something I want to do. Uh, but so we we I don't see. Know these, these, we see. Punching is working, but well, that's that's the problem. There's there's a lot of a move in a lot of these strategies, and these these hench these uh sorry these um hyenials are kind of just hanging out. Yeah. Uh, a bit more micro could have actually like killed this entire base, but that's okay because he's like dealing with his economy and the rest of the map, and yes. he's pretty well in control at this point. Probably microing elsewhere as well. Yeah. And and a lot of pack hunter range for uh, for fear with these uh lioness porcupines. Yeah, yeah. They are just going to absolutely munch on Panthemics. Looking very malignant with the black spot as well, mm. honestly. This is uh, it's an evil yeah. beast. It, I think it, it works very well to have the porcupine head and the uh, the black jacket. Definitely. It actually looks really nice. Like a menacing little cape. Meanwhile, this is another attack against Ryan. Another good yeah. push from Grey, I would say. Like, I don't know a lot about Grey. I haven't played with him before. He's quite new, but he's done yeah. he's done a good job. Yeah, Gray and Gray and Lush are strong players. I mean, all of I think the the entire the entire team of uh, who are they is, is quite solid. Uh, it's Lush is is definitely the pocket player for this team. But uh, you know, they if he gets online, like yeah, I I, I think. 
depend any depending on the game, any of those three can actually just carry the carry the game against, That's against awesome. pretty much any opponent. So. That's great. It's so it's so much so much fun to see uh, people who I haven't played against heaps, like people who you don't necessarily know how to estimate. That's uh, mm -hmm. good to see. Yeah, um, absolutely. And to be honest, like actually, the way that Ryan and especially Fear have played this game, I actually think it might not even have mattered if Beachamp was killed there. He's yeah. probably actually Bjamp is probably feeding resources, given the At look this point? Yeah, of I his structure. So. I think I think maybe that was the plan all along. Is Bjamp just feeds? He's got so many hench and nothing else. Yeah, that that is that is a pretty standard uh, macro and cheese uh, idea. They they like doing that. Um, that's something uh, something we've seen before from them, where they, where Bjamp will will sort of play the support player, or one of them will be coordinated and sacrifice resources or something to uh, to help out the others and i mean especially since b champ got got taken out so like ganked yeah <laughs> set back set back so much like at that point what you really want to do is just build your economy because then you're gonna you know you can be relevant in the late game again if you manage to build up your economy so you don't want to have to be involved in all of the aggression so as long as your teammates can handle it you can just focus on your economy, whether you're at, whether you're giving them resources or not. That's really what you want to be doing. We need to see a little bit more movement here from fear. Well, we don't, but it would be nice to. It looks like Lush has only just now hit level three. Yeah, he he started it very late. I think that's something that we've been seeing with the they 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 really went all in on that level two attack, and uh, and even though they they had a lot of creatures, um, using all three of those chamber those proxy chambers and not getting not killing B champ has really been a problem for them because fear and both fear and ryan were able to hit level three and i mean level th these these level threes against level against level twos that uh that gray and lush are bringing are just i mean the entire team of uh of who are they are building uh like they're ex they were their their level twos were all expensive powerful units but level three is so much more efficient yeah, rush squad, you know, and it's crazy that Ryan hit level three fast enough to actually defend against the um, uh, Scorpita rush. Like yeah. he he hit level three fast enough that he could make flyers and defend B champ from level two barrier destroy. Yeah, and that's that's yeah that was a that was a really clutch play. I think you saw the coordination from uh, from Team Macro and Cheese, he, like playing like playing around the size of the map as well. I mean, it's very hard to get a fast rush on this map. Yeah. because of how far you have to travel that's right that's um, right it was it was a relatively slow rush for that exact reason yeah and and so i think i think you, you really see the benefits of that it looks like we managed to escape the uh the replay glitch which is yeah it seems that way i mean weenie Hut has fallen and it looks pretty bad for gray and yeah. lush as well i've got to be yeah, honest I, I can't say i can see them coming back from this given how all of the resource patches on the map <laughs> are either gray cyan or green well the map uh, is just mottled with black buildings at this yes, point like I, he's just I, crawling i literally don't see any other buildings from any other team in the <laughs> so that's game one uh, going to team macro and cheese game one somehow the cursed replay uh survives that's bizarrely right. uh and the next game I looks like it's going to be grove yes so very popular multiplayer map not very surprising to see that uh who are they have this as their counter pick it's just such a popular map that uh they you you expect you know if, if you want to pick a counter pick you want to map you're comfortable on and this is the map that anybody who's starting out on the server will, will end up playing a lot anytime there's a 3v3 that's it uh, it's it's the it's the map that you can be pretty much confident that everyone will be comfortable on and it's much more rushable than bakuna which might have factored into their thinking if they're going to try that again I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, um, Beach Champ is yellow, and that's the dust weird. Too of, uh, of impossible creatures. <laughs> yes. So, we're, are we? What are we seeing here? We're seeing. It looks like. Is it? Yeah. So Beach Champ is in yellow this time. Exactly. And he, he's going for. Looks like he's going for a level two via workshop. I think he's. I think he's just packing eco. He might be donating again. He's in the middle, right? So he's pretty yeah. safe. Um, uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. On Grove, you can I mean you can you can rush pretty effectively across the center. Ah, oh, he's fencing it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he's uh, <clears throat> but it's it's interesting to have your middle player be eco. I mean, it, it does make sense, but also sometimes you really need that middle player to be like a, a pinch hitter and um, come in and save the day. Yeah. Trying to see what 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 we're gonna see out of this. So 
Weenie is building a fence. Ah, here so here no rush. No rush yet. And fear sneaking through to grab this geyser. That's that's yeah. such a fun play. If he gets it, if he gets it. Oh, we oh, see the phonies. Oh, that's an equal punch. This they're gonna kill each other. Oh, that's so good. And they, I love how they're punching and then they flash the pool floaties. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then disappears. For a moment, there they forget that they're not standing on land and they just like stand up. Oh no! Hitch. Oh my god! I can't believe here fear go, won here we that. Go, here we go. How did fear win? That looks so oh, equal. <laughs> Oh, escape, escape! Oh my goodness. Oh no. Dude, he won't well, get anyway, caught. That geyser's not happening. He uh, won't get like caught. Looks like did manage to get the contested geyser between him and uh, Fear, which is going to be pretty important. And that, or in between him and Ryan, up in the south. Oof. And there there he goes. There he dies. What Revenge a brave soldier. Oh, Grey has not finished this. He must have been punched no. out. Must have been, yeah. But I mean, even, even so, getting the getting the... Getting the generator foundation and keeping it alive is, is already going to be helpful. Yeah, um, it's it's only a few seconds away from completion, but it does require yeah. another hinch. And this is this is the enlightened modern Zebron frog. I like these exactly. a lot. Exactly. Uh, yes. Relatively new in this patch because of the the changes to the frog leg speed and stats. Um, yes, and gorgeous. I mean I think we we can just all agree that this is what happens when a Zebron frog uh, actually goes to leg day. So. Exactly. Of course. Of course. And it looks like we're going to finish off this journey now. That's Ooh, good. Yes, he is. Okay. And yeah, level two range very rarely has has the ability to hit those those generators. Correct. So, yeah. Um, so it's he's going to be safe. In oh there. And my god! He is coming out. Oh he my is the goodness. now we discover what Bishan was planning all along. He's Absolutely. gone early heal to support his teammates. Yeah. That's ball. I, I remember him talking about this. This is obnoxious if you don't have artillery because those henchmen are just gonna just completely safe i mean especially against triple units like this this is this is not looking good for gray so uh there needs to be some counter aggression from uh from who are they if they want to to do anything about this and it looks like i mean gray how do you deal oh, with this the, the sound beams coming out it hasn't been like mega oppressive because i think b champ has yeah. been not necessarily targeting them quite correctly like, as, as soon as you have a single sound beam doing chip damage to a unit, then basically the rest of the units are unprotected from heal. That's true, yeah. And because I mean, you can see now that Fear's pulling, or Ryan's pulling back, and, uh... Yeah, and here, here's Lush with the defense, but meanwhile, Fear and Weenie are going at it on two fronts. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> That's really interesting. Look, it looks like uh, Weenie opened up his fence, and then... Fear counterattacked, but not terribly successfully. It's, that's been cleaned up, so... Although he has defended with the Panthemings. Uh, oh. And Grey has kind of stonewalled this uh, this attack. These sound beams have really done a number on this uh, hand shield push. I, th I think the range matchup just isn't really the right one for, uh, for this strategy. Maybe so, maybe at least, so. At least for base damage. I mean, for, for that, that's the hard thing about Grove is it's, the expo is fairly safe. And like the the exo in your base is fairly safe, and then you're basically hitting the lab immediately. Yeah. If you're trying to have any kind of level two aggression, so it's it's hard to do meaningful damage without actually just killing the enemy player. And that that means that this this strategy like ranged damage is is really good in combat. It's very very easy to micro. It's it feels nice, um, but it does take longer against buildings, and uh, that's that's going to be a challenge. But we. We do see Fear has hit level three with these uh, cobra. These cobras starting to come out. Uh, so yeah, Ryan. Sorry, that's Ryan is level Ryan. three. Ryan. I right. keep saying Fear. Why do I keep saying? Fear? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I just want to say the the quicker thing, but it's uh, yes, it's it, Ryan. It looks like we've seen some coordination here. I think I think maybe yeah. um, they've asked Fear to come in and help them mop up Lush's base or Gray's base rather. Gray's base, yes. Um, See, you, you you do it, you do it for who are they? I'll do it for macro. And exactly, that's that's the play, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and now everybody is confused. Division of labor again. More Gray towers doing from a me. great job hanging on to this. Yeah, how has this not worked for macro <laughs> and cheese? Like it looks yeah. so good. It was such a dominant force. I mean, I suppose these these panthers from Lush are coming in as well. Yeah, I think. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the trickling melee, but actually, it it worked out really well with the sound beams doing damage to the to the ranged units earlier on, and then uh, Gray was able to build up enough uh, baboon scorpions uh, to, to to defend. I think they were baboon scorpions, and now now we're seeing that he's got he's got these hyenials, which are just 
really strong. And Weenie's out here with his uh, uh, giant prams. Yes, that's right. A classic. Oh, and it looks like we're having a push. Classic. A push. Up. Still good in the beta. In case you, in case you've missed out on the <laughs> yeah. uh, two ninety nine power, it's still there. Still excellent in the beta. That's correct. And then we're seeing an attack Absolutely. against Weenie from B Champ and Fear. Yeah, this is a good counter attack. I mean, this is at this point, uh, B Champ and Ryan have just been running into a wall for, for I don't know, ten minutes now. So, uh, you got you got to look for something else now. Yeah, it's a nice it's focus. A good aggression split. against Fear. Um, for sure, but actually, this is going to be a pretty easy hold from Weenie. He's oh, got yeah. he's got stacks here, man. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, Champ's going to lose lose some hench here, which uh, that's that's one thing that you really don't want to have happen for the uh, for the pocket player here, because I mean he he really needs he needs hench uh, because that's light that's lab time, and like if you kill creatures, you can build more creature chambers to replenish if you have the resources, but you can only build henchmen so fast. Every ten seconds, you get one, and that's you know, and that's as that's fast as you can build them. So, um, this is uh, this is getting a bit a bit scary for for macro and cheese here. I mean, the uh, the creature balance in in, in this game is uh, really shifted to to who are they. And you know, you know, it seems at this point that um, macro and cheese are really suffering from not having a third player with units. Like, yeah, I don't think I don't think the heal from B Champ has been quite good enough to justify him not having units. Although, of course, he's also been sending resources. You know, that's clear. You can see all the buildings here yeah. in Fear's base. Obviously, he's also getting fed. Uh, and uh, as I said, that he somehow managed to fend off Weenie's attack. So, yeah, uh, instantly yeah. proving me wrong there. Well, I think I think Ryan Ryan coming in there with the backstab was a, was a big help and uh, definitely. And it's a huge mess from Ryan. These like a these yeah. are kind of gorgeous, honestly. Yes. Two thirty two eighty four at level three uh, for yeah, eleven camel, camel cobras. And pretty much any camel range is uh, is very satisfying to use in the in the beta because of the size changes. Yes. Uh, and it's just feels really good to have a, a fast land pure land level size five uh for range base now but this is a, this is a really bad arc oh no ryan needs needs to pay attention to these units very soon or he's gonna lose them all oh he's been balled up and i mean he's so many henchmen here from b we could maybe look to see a few more towers maybe towers would be better than healing at this point i'm not sure I, I i think it's it's hard to tell uh i mean the towers were helpful there but uh yeah, he's 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 building he's building them occasionally. I think it's it's I I we, we I think we'd have to ask him what 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 his yeah. decision making process is because I I don't have much experience sort of combining tower crawling and hench healing. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. And suddenly and it I, looks it's bad for poor Weenie. They have just mm, they've just kind of sat on him. This yeah, camel he's, ball he's basically taken three three players worth of uh, of aggression here. So yeah, yeah. But Gray's coming across with some units, and I, I I expect that Gray and Lush have been have been ecoing and, and are leveling up. Gray's but been rushing with uh, Dragon Orpians. Remove level two flyers. <laughs> uh, oh, that is that is such a uh, what a, what a unit name. This is a pretty good one, uh, but unfortunately, it hasn't here, done the business. Oh, here, here come the Prams, though. That's going to clean that up. There's. There's no amount of hand shield that's saving you from that. Very true. Ah, but they're getting drawn by these towers. Oh. Well, wow, those those towers are going down fast, though. I. I yeah, but now now his forces split. See, like this. I I oh, do he, think he'll clear this There is a up. lot of hench heal there, but uh, yeah. See, oh my God, needs, so many Lush, Lush needs to start attacking some of these hench. That's the problem. Now, Beachamp's running away now. Yeah, and fair enough. Of motivational speech. Fair, yeah, exactly right. Motivational speech is a pretty huge speed buff for hench. And they are out yeah, of here, man. Absolutely a big deal. Although charge attack from from Prams will uh, will laugh in the face of uh, of motivational speech. But yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Grey Guy still holding on here. He's just, just he's just held on this whole game with Ryan yeah. just breathing on him constantly. Yeah, it's that that's uh, pretty impressive to to hold that choke point, but uh, making good use of the buildings and all that. No. Speaking of pretty impressive, Winnie is still having an impact on this game despite oh, yeah. being just a lab a second ago. <laughs> yeah, he he brought his he brought his hench to the side so he could build chambers and you know he still has that generator which I think yeah fear like macro and cheese 
could probably benefit from from pushing generators. I mean, Fear's taken out the one that Gray had taken earlier, and now now has his own hen shield in the base. But uh, yeah, this is uh, B Champ. B Champ is really making it hard to kill uh, his teammates with all of this uh, hen shield. But some artillery, Davo. Just oh one God. artillery. Just one. Uh, I mean, that's what I've been saying. This I, I said it at the start. It's. The real counter to hench heal is artillery because Definitely. you start splashing those hench and they're just they're gonna start healing each other they're gonna forget about the creatures and you're just gonna win that's right but artillery kind of like it falls out of favor sometimes in the meta and it seems to be um pretty underappreciated in this series of games that we've seen today so far yes i i i, I do get the impression that uh lush and gray don't use artillery very much right um <clears throat> at least um and we know Fear hates Artillery. <laughs> artillery is actually a great pick against Fear, specifically for that reason. Yeah, well, if you, yeah, especially especially level, level 5 Artillery, uh, Fear brings out Beetles. Uh, <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much what you want. I mean, that... Okay, just do one Sonic Boom, please. Man, I know. It would you be so sad as well. You want to. <laughs> Sonic does... Boom actually does affect Henchmen, so it would be a good play here. Oh, yeah. It would be a huge play. Uh, not that it matters. Also, it also looks the like hench, the hench punch against the uh, sound beams is 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 you know yes a fairly smart. clever thing to do, especially because it doesn't look like uh, fear can actually <laughs> yeah fear you shouldn't be punching the outer uh, tower though. yeah go for the you inner really ones. want to get yeah. inside and then you can protect your hench but, get uh, into the uh, the creamy center for sure but that was kind of a hail mary from weenie because like the writing's it, yeah. on the wall yeah it's it's over man yeah so those those are the <laughs> elephant anteaters which are looks like which are really good yeah gorgeous expensive, but they're basically level five uh, that's right yeah. range at level four so so yeah so that that's those are some very good units. is coming See, down this this <laughs> with the with the cpu strategy of yeah. blocking them in with with fences which is actually like another great example of what you can do if you just go hench you do have some unconventional options available yeah for sure and i think but, that's that's Especially powerful for for team with <clears throat> players who are who have a little bit less experience. Um, yeah. Because yeah. You, yeah. You know they they're solid fundamentally, but you you don't necessarily know what to do when you know your chambers get fenced for the first time or or you know whatever whatever it may be you get cheese hench rushed. Uh, um, where were you when your chambers got fenced for the first time? <laughs> uh, memories. Ah uh, yes, I sat at home. My chamber said, I can't build any more units. <laughs> yeah, good good game from Macro and Cheese here. I, it's really interesting to see this hench play come out, because when you see it, you do have to wonder, is this better than just playing conventionally? And I don't, I mean, obviously it's not that cut and dry. There's no one is better and one is worse. Um, it's definitely worked for them here. For a while there, it looked dicey, but without yeah, artillery, I, I, it, I think they've been able to go unpunished, largely. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that's... It's definitely been worked out in this game. I I think that a double rush with units would actually have killed Gray though. Whereas, yeah, yeah. You know, we just ended up with a whole bunch of mismatch for a while, and like the hench strategy kept Fear alive from Weenie's aggression, and I must have been really frustrated to play against. I'm not looking forward to my next game against uh, Macro and Cheese at this point. <laughs> yep. But uh, uh, here here comes uh, the uh, the Albants as well, which is. Pretty powerful finishing move, I must say. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I don't even know how many airbursts they can take, but it's a lot. Oh, like four or five, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I no, think I, I think it's I, like two hundred fifty. Fifty. So I think you can take four. Three? You, know, you can take three, and then the fourth kills. I think. Yeah, which <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that's mental. That's that's three thousand electricity that your opponent. Yeah, <laughs> three thousand electricity to maybe kill some units. Yeah. Oh, love Black Wastrich though. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. he's so cute. He's great. Hey, really look at the speed. Yeah, yeah, the uh, oh. yeah, forty well upgraded is pretty insane. Gorgeous. And there comes the lab blow. So, I think that's GG. Oh no, Weenie Hut's still technically alive. I think. Oh no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just took a while there. Just took a okay. while. Okay. Yeah. So. Macro and cheese take game two, but I say in decidedly less emphatic fashion. I think that was much closer. So um, we're gonna see that uh, there was a bit of a break 
in between uh, game two and game three. Yes, indeed. So, a uh, little bit time to, to review, to practice, to... Wow, actually, a fresh mindset. actually a considerable break here. We're seeing that one was on 25th of Jan, and then the next games were in... Uh, is that is that right? Uh, I don't... I, wow. I will, I, will, I will defer to the Impossible Creatures naming replay naming and say yes, it's correct. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just assume. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> happened. Maybe B-Champ went on, a, went on another... Vacation or something. That's huge, man. That's enough time to grow a beard. We could be looking at two completely <laughs> different teams at this point. Yes. Uh, yes. Depends on depends on the person for being able to grow a beard in a month, but uh, definitely this is this, we're gonna see some some difference in the uh, level of, of the teams, I mean, especially because I know I think all of Grey, Weenie, and Unlush were were playing the game pretty regularly for that whole time period. Intervening. So. And swinging back into Deep Freeze, that's so dope. I love a Deep Freeze game, always very poggers. Deep Freeze is basically the other Dust 2 of uh, Impossible Creatures. <laughs> if you haven't seen this uh, before on the channel, then this is probably your first time watching a 3v3 uh, image. <laughs> <laughs> but welcome, that's the case. Alright, so we are going to see uh, Weenie, Lush, and Grey on the left. And, yeah, and we can so. see that Weenie has taken he's taken a bit of a heel turn, he's gone dark. Yes, now rocking the black. Yeah, he's he's basically uh, decided to assert emotional damage on the on the on fear by stealing fear's color. Menacing, menacing. Fear in yellow. Ooh, that doesn't feel yeah. right. That that does feel strange. <laughs> and now I wonder it's been so long since the last games, I wonder if we're gonna see more hench strats from B Champ. He seemed I, like he was really into the idea in the last couple of games, yeah. but you know, it only takes like a week of playing without a strat to, for it to kind of like the gimmick leaves your brain a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. V Champ is is definitely the kind of player who who likes to to make use of unconventional strategies. So, I, I if there's anybody who's gonna who's gonna bring it out again, I think it'd be V Champ. But uh, we're seeing some scouting from from Gray. Oh, he's, he's done it! <laughs> do, 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 do. It's the tape. <laughs> that was that was basically a finish line, but in reverse. Now, what so are you going to do with your life, the, the henchman? Less, the low electricity count on BTF right now. Just I, one rod. So. I hope he got some good intel out of that. He's not going to be able to run back across, no. man. No. Oh, your best use of henchmen at this, at this stage is to scout as much definitely, as possible. Definitely needs to be scouting. Now, there's something interesting happening with fear. There really he is. is fencing his water. <clears throat> so that that and kind of means he's conceding the South Expo at the moment, the mid-south yeah, here, which absolutely. is convenient because Lush has already taken it, and he would have been in trouble, fear, if he had actually attempted to take it himself. Yeah, I and mean, you can see that Ryan <laughs> is, is up north with some sneaky hench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this might be, this might turn into a, a rush from the north here. Yeah, yeah, we got two water chambers coming out, which is uh, aggressive, and it looks like Weenie has not taken the island at all. So it, this is kind of interesting. We can see the sort of possible evolution of, of the deep freeze meta. I mean, usually you'll see in casual games, you'll usually see uh, pretty much everybody go for the expo in front of them. Um, but now we're seeing that uh, uh, team, uh, team Who Are They are building are putting two people in mid to really take control of it. Um, Ooh, what are And Oh, wow. Now that's that's, this, that's a spicy price tag right there. That's true peril, but hey, Weenie spotted it. Maybe just yeah, in time. I, Give me some towers. <laughs> Give can't me some say that I, I'm a bit worried here. I don't think he spotted it early enough. Uh, they do have creatures in mid who can rotate over and oh land creatures are much cheaper, so it's going to be interesting. <clears> I mean, this is a little bit later than you'd expect for for this kind of a, a rush. I mean, I suppose it is an amphibious rush, so yes, it can you know, only those, come out. Those so take early. more time because you have to be level two to start building the chambers. But I'm not sure that this is fast enough to to be able to to do enough damage to Weenie here. I mean, Weenie is still mining. He's built these sound beams at base, and the frenzy. There's not enough. There's not enough creatures there to really. Oh my goodness! Get value out of the here's here's of Ryan at level three with the goblins. Like he's oh, backing wow. up his level two attack with a level three assault. Well done. Looks, like, looks okay. I can see why this was so late then, because he's he built, he he only built like six or seven 
level twos because he was just waiting to hit level three, and so now, now we need is very much in trouble. This is. Uh, oh wow, that's that's a really well thought out uh, rush into standard attack from Ryan. I like that a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think he probably just got to the got to, got into position a bit earlier than he than he had perhaps planned, and now. Uh, now he's getting rewarded for it. I'm not even. I'm not oh, even sure if Winnie's level Winnie, three. Winnie doesn't have three. There's no lab defense coming out no here. Lab Winnie's defense, gone. And that's gonna be. That's gonna be it. But I mean, Lush. Okay. Lush is in a really great position to the south. Yeah. Lush is the most yeah, dominant Lush player is in on the map. Amazing the position. And Ryan doesn't have the top island, and Beachamp completely conceded middle. So, I mean, it's this is not over. I mean. I mean, we yeah. know it's not over. Really, but, I, I, uh, I wonder what Beachamp's doing. Is he, he? I mean, obviously, I don't wonder because clearly he's donating to Ryan. Like, there's yes. no, there's no way Ryan could have achieved what he's achieved otherwise. For sure, and I mean, he does have two expos in in middle, but but the the question I mean, is, in, in I center, but... I think we're actually seeing the final form of this strategy because fear is also feeding Ryan. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. Which is hysterical. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that's, that's, that's risky, though. I mean... Yes. And we're about to see really... why it's risky, I think. Yeah, I mean, we gotta see what, what Lush does. Because, I mean, Lush should just kill that fence. They, he's he's not saving Grey here. I mean, maybe he's just bringing back his units to defend his own base, but... My goodness, he's really not saving Grey. Grey is gone. This wrecking wow. ball of goblins. Very impressive. This is... Those are expensive. Here come the units, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, those those look like level. Are those wolf heels? Yes, they, they are. Still level two. two. Lush Lush is not Lush, Lush is only now. Lush is three. halfway to three. How? There's no way he survives That's, this. There's though. there's absolutely zero chance. He he might not even get lab defense up. <clears throat> wow. He will he will get lab defense up, but his units can't fight goblins. No, I mean they can fight, but. Uh, Goblins with yeah. regen and like they die, they die. They yeah, they just go. Die. <laughs> what an insane game! 96, 97, Is he gonna get it? Uh, he's, hey, done it. he's done it. No, he's done it. But he's not no. turning on Lab D. They've just lost yeah, it. Oh my no god. Way. Okay. Well, that's the series. Well, that is the series. Uh, it looks. I mean, according to the replays, they played two more games. So. Yeah, which is of course, of course, completely. It's just a fun league. Um, exactly. But the the win of the series does go to Macro and Cheese with some very brassy stratagems. Yes, some very interesting choices. Now we, we get we get to go to Desolation, which I don't know seems appropriate for. Uh, uh, we don't. Are they <laughs> frame of mind right now. Oh dear me, I do not have the scenario installed. <laughs> That's very funny. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you know what, why don't we just pause the recording momentarily? I think we should do that. Oh, never mind, there it is, Desolation. I've got it. There we go. Wow. There was no problem at all. Whatsoever. Yeah, so, as we were saying... Loading up. Yeah. Desolation. Desolation. That's game game four. The series has already gone to macro and cheese, but uh, I'm really glad decided. to see them to see them going to five games anyway. But I think I think we can tell that uh, after that after that deep freeze, uh, who are they wanted some wanted some revenge here. And they're gonna see if uh, Desolation provides the correct theater for it. This is a really fun map. Uh, it's it's pretty cute, honestly. It's enormous. It has so many resources. Um, but I mean, the geometry is just nice. It's wide open. The the choke, the, there's not huge choke points, but they're not like they're not tiny either. So it's, I I like this map. Uh, the games I've played on it, I've not been super successful personally, for the <laughs> most part. But uh, but it is a it is a fun map, and uh, it's it's funny that there's uh, there's like a combat music soundtrack. <laughs> Oh yeah, the That's the right. hype for these henchmen mining is uh, pretty intense at the moment. Oh yeah, they're 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 really beating up on that coal. That coal is under attack. They look like they're running faster than normal. Yeah, they they're extra motivated. And uh, we're looking at right. a fence so from Weenie. Huh? Still in yellow, and Weenie is in green now. <laughs> That's a great point. We should go through. We've got Weenie in green, the greeny Weenie. We've got Blue Lush as per usual, and Red Gray also as per yeah. usual. Don't get confused. 
And uh, as per usual, Ryan in Cyan. Ryan That's in cool. Cyan, exactly. That's the easy one. Going fast two, Fear in yellow, and Beachamp in pink. I don't think I've ever seen a pink Beachamp before. I don't think I have. I don't pink think champ, I have either. It just champ, lends champ. more credence to the fact that this Beachamp is not, in fact, real. That's true. As the scoop from, from Fear has led us to know, uh, you know, green Beachamp might not have been real. Pink Beachamp, definitely not real. So. Well, listen, listen, guys. Don't... Don't believe me. Do your own research. Do your own investigations. Is B Champ real? Honestly, so far, evidence seems to be no. Yeah, I mean, have we even seen a creature from B Champ on Grove? I don't think we did. <laughs> so clearly, he's just definitely, definitely not real. The evidence is all there. He's some kind of weird bot. He's Alpha Go or something. I don't know. Well, anyway, there should be some aggression from Ryan, but unfortunately for Ryan... <laughs> double fence! Ray has kind of anticipated this with the double fence. <laughs> yeah. Go, uh, against the early level 2 from, uh, from Ryan. We're seeing so. extreme turtling. I mean, not really, because Weenie didn't actually build the fence. We're doing psychological turtling from Weenie Hut. That's here. right, yeah. He'll look on the minimap and he'll feel a little bit safer. Yes, and maybe... <clears throat> Beachamp will look on the minimap and see, ah, it's fenced. I shouldn't go that Maybe. way. Maybe, if he's scouting using only the minimap. Fear, meanwhile, is just guys are crawling like crazy. He's tried yes, to go for can... this one, too. <laughs> oh my He's literally God. trying to get every geyser on that. Look on all the outskirts. Fear has a, yeah. has a geyser on the left there, like on the north. He's got one between Lush and Grey. Yeah, you can see the... Uh, Blue, well, Luscious henchmen need motivational speech at this point. They do, Are they yeah. going to get the ambush? Okay, yeah, here we go. The ambush. <laughs> They've been chasing him for three kilometers. Yeah. That's uh, so that's persistence for... hunting right there. Yeah. And But Fear has su successfully distracted everyone from the fact that he's taken uh, four out of <laughs> five outer geysers. <laughs> Meanwhile... But in the meantime, me... double rush on Oh my on B god. Just, you know... Deletes the hologram, the projector is gone, and we are seeing the evolution of this team in real time. No, Throughout no. Throughout the series, there is artillery. Artillery, stay away. Artillery, stay away. Now's not the time. No. Oh, yeah. Those those, uh, those dragonfly scorpions. Oh my <laughs> oh, god, no. they're all dead. That's, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Dire. Uh, fear is under a lot of pressure, and he has sunk so many resources into those geysers. It's so uh, funny, now that B-Champ doesn't exist, it's like, economically, they're in a weird position. Ryan has very little. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't say he's- I wouldn't say he's struggling yet, but this steamroll from these two teams- Oh, this- this- this is a carpet of units that is just- it's just gonna roll. I mean, fear is nothing. Oh, and this. he's- There's... the artillery against these towers is so good! Mmm, yeah. yummy! The artillery is really good, they've got regen tank- Oh, no. no, those are fears, actually. But, like, the barrier destroy- this is just- this is crushing. I mean, Ryan is going to have to win this game one versus three. Solo, yeah, and he's got. I mean, he's got spitting calf. Oh my god, it's level three. Gorgeous it boy. Is. Absolutely, and it is working away at that fence. Is that fence upgraded? Because that I would expect those fence to go down a lot faster. No, two fifty, no. two fifty, unupgraded. It's not upgraded. All right, well. <laughs> Fear is going to have the electricity to keep up that lab defense for as long as he wants. <laughs> he must be sending Ryan thousands of electricity at the moment. I hope I hope he is, because oh, my goodness. Great play. Finally someone punishing Fear. Lush oh, with the yeah. Dragon Orpions. Very clever. Yeah, on, on most... Well, on the two guys that are near him, yeah. And Lush um, swinging in with a, a premeditary defensive force for Grey. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Good it, is, it is good. I mean... We're gonna, it's not really enough to deal with the uh, spitting caps, but, uh, yeah. Ooh, this one survives on two health. Magnificent. Wow. And... And no, it doesn't. <laughs> it does. <laughs> uh, Gray is level... The leap attack making short work of that 2 HP uh, snake, but, I mean, that Panthemings are actually, a, I mean, they're a surprisingly good matchup into this, because spitting caps should be fairly glassy as with any Cobra range. I don't know, I and, mean, the uh, main purpose of them at the moment is to just plow in and deny while Grey has the opportunity to make some level 3s. Yeah. Rod absolutely. is here. Now and Rod is a good matchup. There's the absolute classic. Uh, it looks like that's... Or is that a Rhino? No, I think that's a Rhino. Yeah, it's a Rhino. Okay. The classic is the Hippo. But. Uh, oh man, Hippo, Rhino, Elephant, they're all gems to me, man. 
Yeah. Meanwhile, well, uh, Ryan's defended well. <laughs> those noodles are getting cornered and slurped up uh, against the fence. So, although maybe not, poison is doing is doing well. It's not doing work against. The poison's doing noodles. absolutely poison's nothing. <laughs> doing absolutely nothing against those. Uh, uh, Panthemings are all gone, pretty much. This uh, is a great matchup against Ryan because Ryan only apparently Ryan only does spitting cobras these days. <laughs> Yeah. So he's well, got to be sweating. I think I think they I think he is. I mean he's oh he's got Ooh. oh those are beautiful. Ryan is like the number one giraffe stand on earth, and this is a great example of that. What a lovely unit. Those are really good. Close on I, I cusp. actually have I have a couple of, of of giraffe units, but I think they're level fours, that I that I quite like. Uh, I have yeah instead of moose range, I think I have giraffe range and what my is giraffe bolas. I think which are very nice. And fear survives, fear survives. <laughs> but he does have red lab temps, so pretty yeah. much anything can breathe on his lab and destroy it. But uh, they, but oh, if these guys had only gone around, and some of them have gone around, but not enough. <laughs> Two units. Oh, not enough, not enough. A couple the, of the artillery, artillery shots is going to do something, but nothing not at all. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, they're gone. Did he even get an attack off? I'm not sure. No, you got a couple, but honestly, it doesn't matter. These level threes it doesn't just, matter enough. Yeah. These level threes I mean, just toe to toe so well. Like pretty powerful two. force from uh, from Ryan. It's kind of just roaming around and taking what he can. Oh my and god. And he's you know still successfully pushing into Gray's base. I mean, the the, the lemmings are still coming out. Here comes the hench heel. I mean, there's there's no way. Surely we don't see fear have an impact on this game going forward. But it looks like Ryan is doing a pretty wonderful carry. Yeah, Ryan is definitely. Uh, yeah, he's he's uh, he's had some really good performances in the uh, in these team in these team games uh, in the, the the league, the triples league. And this is this is another one. I mean, here here he is just absolutely munching on Gray. So, I mean. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> you know, basically three v one. I mean, Fear does have the resources to give him to to give to Ryan, but uh... well, he's he's Fear is actually losing ground. He's only he's down to like a generator at this stage, I think. I think I think he has one. Oh, uh, he has one on the side. Yeah, to... yeah, he's got one there. Wow. Um, this which is how will I find out I'm probably going. go down in a moment, or not. Oh, we're at I mean, level he's not four. That direction, but... Well done, Weenie. Great oh, rush yeah. to four. Wow. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the, absolutely the right play in this situation. You've taken so much of the map. You've you've taken out all of almost all of Fear's economy, and you've killed B Champ. Ryan's um, patrolling mid, but he's gotten a little caught up on these henchmen. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely really a really good thing to do. I mean, if you if you're wondering how to take your next your your impossible creatures gameplay to the next level, I mean, sort of. Finding time to move a small force around the map and just find what you can yeah. while you're still fighting the main fight is just a huge difference maker. Um, but this is this is looking like the last stand. Not really. There's no charge to make. Can't be the light brigade, but it's <laughs> uh, sandwiched. So fear is acting like it's minute three of this game and just <laughs> just yeah. playing playing yeah. a normal expansion, which is he, like he is, he's just he's playing B champ roll right now yeah um, yeah yeah and just just funneling and uh yeah i don't know whether fear's really gonna have the space to to go level i mean surely he has to go level four i, I don't know whether he's doing it right now but he's got to build out all of these units and i mean this is really we've reached the tipping point uh yeah yeah weenie weenie has so much of the map and is already level four you can just push out so much gray gray's Level four, I think. No, those are level threes, aren't they? Those are yes, muskox. they are. They are. Wow, muskox. That's, that's Ryan eating four now. Oh my god, Ryan under all this pressure going four, pretty nutty. Yeah, yeah. he he, he really <laughs> took advantage of the tempo that he had at level three, being all the way in Gray's base. Yeah. To to sort of use that space, he didn't really have any any expos to take, and he didn't have to use his hunter to heal. So he was able. He had the he had the space and the time to go four, but uh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, that's, that's really nice as well. 30 damage. He could use some like... Geroopists over here. Yes, yeah. there they are. And they're going to they're gonna be very effective against these level 3 range. Wow, he's going to live this. Oh, uh, there's I mean, more those coming. Are, those, are, those are big units. They're going to deflect pretty often. And I mean, they've just got so much more HP and all that. I mean, it's, it's whistling in the dark, but it's a pretty, pretty impressive tune, so... <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, great play from Ryan against uh, against very long odds. Uh, let's not forget Absolutely. that fear also technically exists. Yes, fear, unlike uh, VChamp, is actually real. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. He's one of the good ones. <laughs> we trust him. Wow, this is yeah. This level three push base push is definitely getting cleaned up. Wow. It's interesting to see Ryan is opting for some more uh, spitting caps instead of level four range. I don't know what. what I don't know if he has level four range, range to be honest. Yeah. With you. It's uh, quite possible, so... Uh, uh, Chiru Pists are absolutely magnificent, but I, I don't know, like, they're not a bad matchup against the uh, the Purple Chode monster, but the the quantities are just telling. There's no way that Ryan's economy can stand up to um, yeah, uh, Weenie's to economy. Basically three base... Uh, <laughs> this is basically three base Weenie versus that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fear has finally fallen, and it's just a matter of time. But a uh, pretty, pretty triumphant game for both teams, I would say. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, this is, this is you can you can see the the, the growth from uh, from uh, who are they and the time that they had, and there's there's the, there's the concession. That's right. Like at some point over that month month gap that they took, they had like three bud mitzvahs or something and became men, <laughs> and now. Now they're here to play for real. Uh, it looks like our last game is going to be. Pass. Uh, what? Well, I need to stop you here. Okay. All right. So it looks like the last game of the. Well, we can still call it a series, even though the series has gone to macro and cheese. We'll say the last game of this five-game series is going to take place on overpass. Now, Davo, what do you think made macro and cheese choose this as their counter pick? It's um, I think it just shakes up the meta that they've been used to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that they've been setting up constantly in these set of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's interesting. It's it's kind of a, a map that I wouldn't have thought many people would counterpick to be honest, because a lot of people seem to be really uncomfortable on overpass. What do you what do you think about it yourself? I kind of like it. I like the choke points and the choke points mixed with mid being slightly less chokey. Mm -hmm. So it kind of forces that, you know, all-in team fight in the middle. Yeah, it often does. And I mean, every time, I, like, every time I've had success on this map, it's normally been with like a sneaky uh, attack down the side here because you have a lot of area to put secret chambers in your opponent's side. I definitely use some hover units on these uh, ramps. Uh, yes, that's so huge. You... Uh, level 2 hover is pretty good here. All right, it looks like their northern team is who are they? We've got um, the Black Weenie returns, uh, flanked by <laughs> Blue Lush and then Red Grey over here. And down the bottom, we've got Yellow Fear, uh, Cyan, Ryan, and Green Beachamp is back, clearly pulling off the gloves for this ah, final yeah. game. He's coming back to reality right now. Back to reality. Whoop, there goes Gravity. Now, um, I wonder, I've been saying this every single game, is Beachamp going to do these weird hench strats again? You just can't uh, believe it. You have to ask every time. <laughs> every single time, exactly. Um, and I think he might. This is just this is just how Bisham plays the game now. He doesn't use creatures. He's clearly ascended beyond us. I'm telling you, man. Alpha Go. This robot has learned. There's so <laughs> many henchmen. There's no way he's not doing some weird henchman stuff. Yeah, seems like it. And fencing here from Grey, don't hate that. I think that's probably a pretty smart play. Yeah, I am. Denying those hench uh, expansions. Oh, quick two from Ryan. Nice. Slightly slower two from Fear. Slightly slower Fear from uh, <laughs> two from B Champ. Wow, we're not going to. Oh, Weenie's going to now. Okay, so everyone's okay. having their level twos pop out. The B champ is deciding to go mid instead of the uh, expert at the back. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, Davo, quiet. We have to be yes. very quiet so that Ryan doesn't notice this. I guess B champ's trying. No, B champ is going out with the Piranha Warthogs. Lovely. This is going to be a strong attack. Oh my god, Ryan's got the infest. Oh no, Weenie. Very. A very interesting set of units right here. This is so funny because like Weenie went round the back to do a sneak attack and <laughs> Team Macron Cheese has arrived in his base quicker anyway. 
Yeah, like, you just got uh, outplayed, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. But, I mean, it's not too late for these barrier destroyers to absolutely destroy at least one enemy player. Oh, the infest is... Uh, infest is such bad manners, man. Evil Yeah, abilities. I personally tried it out one time, and I, I just don't like that it doesn't stack. Yeah, 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 I get that. I get that. Oh, man. Is this going to be held? It's going to be a little bit close. Meanwhile, the attack in the north is going to be fended off. Will these barrier destroyer guys need to go for the lab? Oh my goodness, these piranha warthogs. Wow, 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 wow. So much damage. Oh, it's it might happen. It's possible. It's it's not possible. All those hands are uh, going to repair it, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is no other way. <laughs> this is a pretty good little attack down here, though. Steadily punching down the workshop. Uh, sturdy defense. Henge barrier destroy when? Henge barrier destroy now. Um, Beachamp's piranha warthogs coming back. That actually probably saved Weenie's life. To be honest with you. Yeah, a very roundabout way to do that, but mm -hmm. uh, it worked, I guess. <laughs> it's a roundabout way to basically break even, I suppose. Weenie might have suffered more because I think he lost more henchmen than Ryan did. Yeah. At least his expo isn't uh, damaged, I guess, but it's not going to be a factor in mid game. Let's not forget there was also a thousand coal lost when these creature chambers were destroyed as well. Okay, coming back, taking mid. This is still looking strong for the south team. Beautiful move from Weenie, but uh, still looks strong. Yeah, this is where the the mid starts to become important. Well, it would if Beecham didn't just walk straight through it, completely disrespecting. <laughs> wow, okay, so this 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 is kind of rolling at this point. Uh, Weenie is in trouble once again. This is kind of visions of the past now. He's making some yeah, changes to defend. His defense, <laughs> his roundabout defense was temporary. You know, sometimes it seems like um, it seems like Team Who Are They often commits to rushes and commits really hard, and is maybe not pivoting. Oh, great level three from Weenie, very smart. Yeah, uh, able that's to buy defend. A good time there. Buy me a good time. Okay, um, I, I do think it's kind of just a matter of time though at this point. Yeah, it's the economy has been ruined. Maybe the expos on the choke points might help. But yeah. I don't feel like it's going to make that much of a big deal. They they might, that's true. Those, those kind of, but there's a kind of split, right? Because Fear's got this one and Grey's got this one. So that's yeah. kind of equivalent. Um, so... Um, Gray hasn't taken his natural expo. Yeah, that's uh, that's it's... that is interesting. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a hard one to remember about. Beachamp hasn't taken his either. He sent henchmen here like a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I make sure to take that one first so I don't forget about it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Um, Ryan, I think might be feeding this game. Oh no, he's got no. Sorry, he's he's Ryaning, of course. And the cobras yeah, yeah. are back. Got that boomer mindset. Oh, David, this is what you're talking about. Tiger fish, we've got hover. Ooh. Quite delightful. See how effective those are. The, oh, they're so good for just raiding these expos and stuff. But, I mean, actually at this point, Fear can defend his expos pretty well. Yeah, he's got units at home. Let's do a quick level check. That's Beachamp hitting three. Cool. I'm actually surprised he's only now hitting three. There might have been some donating going on. Yeah, definitely. Beachamp known for his 10 minute level 3s. <laughs> I love these Elephales, man. Those are, those are pretty cute. Oh, Munch, wow. Munching him down like a slice of cucumber. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Obviously on sped up time as well. <laughs> time lapse. They just, of they've got a time thing. dilation, like personal time dilation, so they can eat faster. Yeah, that is a secret ability That's in the game. Yeah, yeah. We should definitely. charge more for that, actually. It's basically it's free. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more Garug Pistas. These ones are different. These are the uh, the ranged Garug Pista. 
That's cute too. Cool. Oh, they've got little um, necks as well. <laughs> they've got little necks as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. A lot of necks in general coming out from the South Town team. Perhaps to balance out the fact that Elephant wore no stingy has no neck whatsoever. I would say we're probably about neck neutral on the South team at the moment. Yeah. Oh, co cockroach lions are great, by the way. Oh, I've never even thought to mix them. Yeah, They're cockroach all... cockroach is under respected. I really believe that. So cockroach has um, infestation and what's the other ability? No, it actually doesn't. No infestation. It has plague, regen, and defile land and hovering. Oh, I think that makes a little more sense. Yeah. Yeah. So a million abilities, but like it's like mostly just fun as like a hover regen base. I think. Uh, this henchman How's really it, uh, contemplating his life. cost all those abilities. Uh, it's 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 mental, of course. If you if you have a cockroach with all of its cockroach abilities, you're gonna be in a, a world of hurt. Um, but it's relatively easy to pick and choose. Like things like plague being on the head is largely easy to not take because like uh, okay, if you yeah, want any kind of melee damage, you you can't bring that plague, right? Okay, so the cost isn't too bad if you like pick and choose uh, what abilities you want. Yeah, and yeah. All the others. And let's actually, where's where's that line? I don't think there's any left in okay, the so entire. So the game's line. actually evened out pretty well. Somehow, yeah. Actually, but... they've uh, they're doing a really weird thing where they're kind of sharing these cliffs a bit. Never mind. This Tiger fishes. Ooh, gyro drop from fear. We caught it just in time. Who needs hovering when you've got a dedicated gyro? Oh my word! That's a big drop. Oh no, we've got to see more focus and fire here. comes out perfectly timed. Yeah, that's true. And the the pack bonus is lost. That would have that was nearly uh, nearly a win for Weenie, but uh, he's got some reinforcements coming in now. Yeah, if those reinforcements didn't like run up that ladder, then yeah, that would have been a nice save. Oh wow, wow, Crocilla! Dang, there's a lot of there's a lot of fun units in this one. Yeah, you can see this this lion cockroach only eighty one elect. Not bad at level three. It's okay. It's acceptable. Yeah, that is. Hovering has kind of a premium on it these days. Uh, strong play from Gray. He is asserting himself at this point. We've seen a lot of level fours though. Uh, everyone is starting to hit level four now. Uh, luckily, one of them is Lush because I think Moto Komoto likes you. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a nice name. <laughs> that's good. That's a good name, man. And these are these are pretty sweet. Do they have leap? Uh, they have charge, charge. Yeah. Okay. Hippo's famous leap attack. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, poor cafe at level three, no less. Oh, he's a bit chunky. He's a burst platform for sure. Look at the look at the flesh spike on the back there. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, that's brilliant. Like a biological can opener. And, oh. Sort of sentence you hear every day. <laughs> Fleshy can opener, indeed. Okay, we've got hippotail whale, hippopotail sharks. Uh, don't see many whale sharks in the meta these days, actually. So this is kind of cute. But they're yeah, a really good matchup for Moto Komodo. Yeah. Their uh, limbs look a bit funny. They like... tail mix mixing with that hippo chomp. That's it. That's it. Hippo Pot is fine, um, doing pretty, uh, pretty good job up here at the front. But um, Weenie has this ball of level three range. Is about to get bodied by this ball of level four range. Ooh, those look pretty nice. Yeah, Beluga as a level four range base is quite juicy. And Beachamp doing a really good job up here. He needs to claim this plateau because the other one has been lost. And, oh, it will actually probably be regained shortly, but... That amphibious ability helping out there? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because this was not actually fenced off. Only fenced off the inland side and kind of neglected. Oh no, oh no, it's too late for the gyro, it's too late! Wow, it's yeah, kind of on a, on a razor's edge right now. What's your pick for the winner here? Ooh. This is a very interesting uh, army comp on the one side. But I see there's mostly level 3s. Backed up by a bunch of hip hippopotam 
pines? What are those called? Mm -hmm. Hippopotopine. <laughs> Hippopotopine. I'm pretty sure I use that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, mixed with the Motomoto, Moto, he's definitely got a theme going on. That's true, and I mean, here's Weenie with some hippos as well. Hippo roaches. There's the love for the roach here, and I, I feel it. I feel it in my heart. Uh, and somehow at level 3, despite only being level 3, uh, I guess B-Champ's probably only level 3 at this point as well. Uh, Gray's done a really good job really? of holding this flank. Oh, keep an eye on this sneak attack going around the side. I really like these hippos. I think they won the game uh, mid. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. They just need some reinforcements now. Sturdy play, Fear once again sending more units, another gyro fan has been placed by Weenie. He will not give in! We need to oh, see yeah. maybe a hover here across this fence, or just run him through either way. Sneak attack from Ryan with these Hippopotale Sharks, but there's no point, they don't do any damage. <laughs> this is not a sneak attack capable unit, but these might be. Fear, what are you doing? I hope those are higher damage. Meanwhile, to the south, there's also, there's also a surprise attack. It looks like both teams have decided to break the deadlock. Yeah, they were uh, both skeptical about the mid and uh, decided to do something about it. Oh, Those great nice. raid. 38 damage on these guys. Oh my Poison god. Poison by 38 damage. Bro, the Very expo is unit. gone. And so is this one. Oh my word. And a water chamber going in at the back for fear as well. Very smart. This this taking down even the rods as well. Oh, Most what? people just run past. Yes, no, that's right, that's right. It's it's a it's a good play. Often, if you destroy someone's rods this late in the game, they never get rebuilt. Like no one thinks about it. Oh, I maxed my rods. It's early game. They should still be alive, right? Yeah, I built all my rods at level two. Oh, Gray is finally at level 4, and these Musilians will take possession. B Champ's in trouble. B Champ's in trouble. The raid has finally been dispelled. Henchmen are coming back. Okay, uh, so I did kind of favor the hippos, but they're starting to, uh, you know, cost a bit too much for expos that are going down. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. Um,. But, I mean, if, if they can seal the deal with these Musilians, and, oh, and Rad laughs as well, oh, B-Champ will be, will be really Ooh, I remember those. Gorgeous. Those have killed me multiple times. <laughs> yeah, they're really heinous. Nasty fellas. Gray's been really impressive this game. He was slow to level, but he was able to do what he needed to do. That setup paid off, I guess. Bit of a deadlock in the middle, it's so hard to kill these hippopotail sharks when you have, like, poison. <laughs> yeah, you need some uh, porcupine, probably. Wow, really strong game from a northern team at this point. Even fear just cannot break out. That's B-Champ dead, he's gone. Wow. You know what, I was kind of, about, about the midway point when they were about even, I would have said that South team has the edge because they have so much more experience and like that really good raid from Fear, but man, North team has shown experience is not everything, sometimes you just need a bit of pep. And some unit comp, they were definitely uh, just building off of each other with all those hippos. That's it, that's it. Uh, Hippopotoch, gorgeous. I want to see more of him. Not specifically great against Belelians, but, you know, still gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's and just cleanup right now. It's just cleanup. I mean, Northern Team has done it. And it's it's so funny that these were the last two games of the series, and they were pretty dominantly won by um, Team Who Are They. Uh, if these had been the first two games of the series, we might have seen a very different uh, result. Definitely. And, and you know, they uh, felt a lot more calm in these last games. Absolutely right. Even though that rush failed, uh, I, I thought they were going to be inflexible and cave, but they didn't. I really like the whole slog vest in the mid on this map. Yeah, it's absolutely. really fun to watch. It was fun today as well. Um, a good example of that, I think. 
Uh, and it's kind of scary that basically, okay, so the first two, the first two games we casted today were from uh, about a month earlier than these games. And in that month, oh, really? yeah, yeah, okay. in, in as well, you know, Davo, because you were here at the beginning. Oh uh, yeah, I've been here constantly. Uh, I've been for those games. We've, so we've talked about this before. That's like, um, it's actually really scary that Team Who Are They seems to have gotten a lot better in that time. And like, I have to face them at some point in this league. And uh, yeah, me too. I'm I'm also kind of scared. I wish we'd face I've them. them in casual. <laughs> I've played them um, in casual games, but without my teammates. So I haven't got a really good idea of how we're gonna fare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Well, hey, great series of games, five fun ones. Uh, glad we finally got around to casting them. Yeah, that's really good. Fun games all around. Fun games, fun games. Thank you, Dave, so much for joining us. Um, give us no problem, no problem. Give us a sign off in French. You're French. Uh, <laughs> I'm the wrong Dave for this action. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for tuning in. We will catch you later, fellas.